Speaking of daybreak, a lot of people wondering, Lene, is it going to be rainy when I go to work or school tomorrow morning? How's traffic going to be? Yeah, that's a great question. It's always a concern when we have rain in the area. And the latest weather data is actually coming in that we could have some of the heaviest rain in the morning. Something to kind of just take note of. Maybe plan to wake up the kids a bit early if you're driving them to school or at least send them out with a, a hooded poncho or a, a, an umbrella. They may need it in the morning. Here's the big weather system that moved through our area earlier this afternoon. Now it's pushing east. Um, luckily, no flash flood watches or warnings at this time, but we have seen the ground get pretty saturated. And we're still seeing a little bit of redevelopment just to our north in parts of northern Travis County and Williamson County as well. These will be fairly light, but it does continue to show that there's energy in the atmosphere and there's moisture to work with. So because of that, uh, on and off rain showers during the night, even an isolated thunderstorm uh, is not out of the question. Now, as far as rainfall accumulations, I've been taking a look at the LCRA totals. Most of us have seen over a quarter of an inch, some of us up to two inches or even a little bit more than that. And our rainfall accumulation um, data actually coming in with that same amount as well. So areas around Luling picking up just a little over two inches. Same for Burnett, portions of uh, western Travis County and eastern, northeastern Bastrop County. So we have seen some pockets of pretty heavy rainfall. What we're also seeing is some cooler temperatures. Today the temperatures really didn't warm up much because we had mostly cloudy skies and the rain kept us a bit cooler. I think that's going to how, how it's going to play out tomorrow as well. Here's our hour by hour forecast that will take us into tomorrow morning. And look what comes in from the south. By about 7 a.m., scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Now, again, this can't pinpoint exactly who's going to see rain when, but this gives us a good idea. And you'll notice it's just kind of widespread. A lot of showers, maybe heavier rain towards the east is one thing that the data is coming up with. But even through about midday, scattered showers possible. Temperatures running anywhere from the low 70s to the mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. By about 5 o'clock, hopefully things are winding down. So, again, the heaviest rain. I suspect will be between about 5 a.m. towards about noontime across parts of Central Texas. Big upper level low. This is the guy that's causing all the rain, and it's a slow mover. So we're going to keep the energy coming in and the moisture coming in. That's going to create lift and give us a chance for showers and thunderstorms Monday, possibly Tuesday, maybe a couple on Wednesday as well. In fact, we could see up to another inch or two over the next 24 to 48 hours. So be ready for more rainfall. The good news is the rain has washed away the ragweed. Mold, though, is in the medium count. You can check your allergy forecast from the storm team every day in the Austin American Statesman. For the kids as they head out tomorrow, 65 degrees around 8 a.m., showers and thunderstorms through about noontime. After that, a couple isolated showers, but we'll just call for mostly cloudy skies. Rain chances stay in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday, though, looks like that weather system will move a little further east. So I brought rain chances down a bit for your election day into Wednesday, but temperatures Wednesday, Thursday look great. 70s, 50s in the morning, so that feels a lot more fallish. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, the clouds and the rain, I kind of like it. it I'm excited. It's, yeah. it's a note that something's changing. The yeah. seasons are finally changing. Finally. Feels good. And we know we had a record amount of early voters, so yeah. hopefully a lot of people voted early and don't have to stand in a soggy yeah. line on Tuesday. Yeah, that <laughs> would sure, be it'll nice. still be long lines. <laughs> All right, we have a lot to celebrate this weekend in addition to cooler temperatures. The Longhorns' first road win yeah. of the season. Yes.